Hi friends, my name is Shahir Shokat and this is a video for my YouTube channel and today I will be showing you my application, Java application of KMap uh, this is a, uh, further I will be discussing my algorithm and how to apply dynamic programming and greedy approach to this algorithm to make our life a lot of easier actually you don't have to worry about too much of if and else cases other we have to take a remind of that so let's check the final application this is my final application kernel of map is a based on four variable a b c d it's a two button compute and reset so let's dive into it let's take journal this so zero making it all zero so obviously the answer will be yes the answer was obvious it will form a group of four this this one this to the forming group of four words or actually a wrap around, wrapping around yes and we are getting a let's check for another one reset so let's check it compute it hmm yes forming a group of eight this group this group again wrapping it around yes we can a dash and a is cancelling out in this group the answer is b dash the sum of the product b dash for the first grouping and for the second grouping it is also a group of eight here all the a b's are cancelled out and we have at the end d c dash and c is cancelled out let's check for one another example for here reset it okay reset it reset it reset it compute it zero make other one zero you can have a don't care condition here x may act as a don't care so check it for here compute it okay this one uh, it's forming a b this it may form this group group of two in this case a group of two is formed a dash b dash yes and d uh, yes d and d dash is cancelled out here and we are getting a c dash so it is right here and it's forming another we can so it's working fine for all actually this the algorithm is working it's finding a it auto we are passing an address when you when I will showing you the algorithm you can see that we are passing the index the uh, the address of this and it automatically forms it has some intelligence whether it will form a group of eight or not of four two the algorithm itself decide so we don't have to bother about otherwise we have too much of if and else cases and the, the length of the program should have gone heck lot of it should be so check for another one make it zero make it zero I just make it zero yes check it yeah definitely definitely this is a group of this and this yes uh, so in the next part of my video I will show you mm, the algorithm and what about the function and how to apply dynamic programming and greedy approach to make it simpler uh, you can solve it using if and else your choice but you have to consider a lot of cases in that or uh, it may the scenario may come come that you may miss some cases and the uh, and the desired outcome will not be showing displaying here so it's better to use a dynamic approach to solve this type of problem so thank you for watching.